Fams, Tariq Bay, live at our Augie Water headquarters in Charlotte, North Carolina. Today, got a treat for you. Gonna get a live blood analysis. You heard me, a live blood analysis. Gonna go inside my body and see what the little fellas look like, the cells. Over the weekend, didn't really drink a whole lot of water. Uh, went back to the city lifestyle because I knew I had this test coming up this week because I wanted to show you what the average uh, person who you know, with the city lifestyle, who eats a lot of meat, don't drink the alkaline water, what this sales really look like. So we're going to have uh, my man Jason. He's going to be here in a second. Uh, I need to reconstruct this room, but generally how I set everything mm -hmm. up is I have the clients in front of the computer. And I sit okay, over cool. Um, what fingers are they? I have some heavier duty plan sets in case we need them, but I think you're okay. <laughs> All right. So, our blood is extremely sensitive to change. If I was to smack my arm, I would literally transform thousands of my blood cells. So I don't want to use anything like um, uh, dyes or chemicals or alcohol or anything like that on the skin. What I use to prep the surface of the skin is friction. Um, and so if I can just have your left hand in your lap, just like so, and just go ahead and face towards me here. Let's get in the right position here. So put your left hand in your lap like so, and then make like a peace sign. All right, perfect. And then this is a Kim wipe. It's a non-fibrous cloth that's used for all kinds of scientific and medical applications. We just want to use this for friction. Whereas with, say, a Kleenex or something where there's fibers that are going to be left on the surface of the skin, mm -hmm. we don't want that to be in the, in the same place. So we're just using something that's non-fibrous. And this is a single-use sterile lancet. Now that we've cleansed the surface of the skin, just a tiny little pen prick. Nothing too major, right? Didn't even flinch. I had a three-year-old client once, and she didn't even flinch. So I know it's it's no big deal. All right. Wipe away our first expression of blood. Make sure we don't have any dead skin fragments or anything in the sample. And then the blood actually has a negative charge. And the slide has a positive charge, so I don't know if you can really see that. We'll take another sample, and you'll get a better look. The blood is going to have a magnetic attraction to the slide. And this is how I get just the right amount of blood, and I'm able to see it in just the right way. See, there's a science tool, folks. You just can't just pick up a microscope and do this yourself. This is actually the hardest part of my job, believe it or not, is getting the samples. <laughs> if I get too much blood or I don't get the blood on the slide in just the right way, we won't even really be able to see anything other than just a big mess. It's still going to be a mess to some extent, but it's a different kind of mess. Right. So how many cells do you think are in that little small sample? Oh man, that's a good question. <laughs> a couple of Probably thousand. billions, I billions? would say. Yeah. It's crazy. All right. So would you like a uh, alcohol swab or just go ahead and wrap it up? I just yes. wrap it up. And even before I take the sample, I'm already looking at things like the color of the blood and how mm -hmm. the blood beads up on the skin and stuff like that. And those are going to show us as well. And when you're done with that, just let me know so we can make sure we dispose of it. Mm -hmm. So we're using phase contrast, which puts kind of a gray background on the sample. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to see it. And um, this is a 100 time objective. There you go. So you'll see as the, uh, the immersion oil actually contacts the objective there, it's going to flash a little bit of light. And that's when I know that I'm just about there, and then I get into the fine focus. Now we've actually got the objective essentially on the slide there. I look like it in the book. Oh my god. Alright. Ok, 
Okay, so our initial picture, what we're seeing is predominantly Rouleau, where all the blood cells are sticking together mm -hmm. in rows. Rouleau is a French word that means sticky blood. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what we're seeing here. As the pH of the blood um, is altered or becomes out of balance, then the, uh, the blood cells start to cling together like magnets. And as we drink the ionized water, this is one of the most profound things that we see here to further answer the question we were discussing earlier. Um, we're electromagnetic beings, beings of energy. And you can see that kind of glow around the cells. Mm -hmm. That's the energy of the cells. So as we put more energy into those cells, then they're going to be able to do their job better. So they'll start to gently repel each other. Just like magnets where you have the negative sides, they'll repel each other. But if it's a negative and a positive, or a positive and a positive, then they So crack. more energy in the cells, they, re they separate, yep. they stop. Yep. They so, ionized water is going to be up to six times more hydrating. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's going to be so profound. In literally about 20 minutes, we can take another look at your blood after drinking some ionized water, mm -hmm. and you'll see a massive improvement just in that little amount of time. Wow. So imagine if you're drinking good quantities of that water all the time. What can that do for you? Wow. So let's say if I were to sit here and I'll drown three gallons and 9.5. Mm -hmm. And because I've done it before and I actually felt this this charge. So that's actually the cells getting more energy? Absolutely. Give us point out a few things as I'm running across. And everything's going to be kind of in different pockets depending on where we're at. And uh, one area we might see a lot of the rouleau like this, others you might see something completely different. But you can see this big mass right here. Mm -hmm. That's a grouping of bacteria. Um, so just kind of point these things out here and then we can talk about it in more detail later. Bacteria forms like monsters. When they group together like that, it's kind of like safety in numbers. Mm -hmm. So normally the white blood cells would just stream through the blood, look for bacteria and scoop it up. But when you got a big grouping of it like that, sometimes mm -hmm. they're not really able to clean up the Some of those little things. Mm -hmm. Those are the individual bacteria. And you can see how they're still moving around. Some mm -hmm. are quite active still. Uh, how long has it been since your last meal? Uh, uh, two, three hours ago. Okay. So usually after a couple hours, uh, things start to calm down quite a bit. Did you eat um, like some nuts or? No, I had, actually I had a... Uh, yeah, an acidic grits. breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> so grits, that's corn, right? Corn, yeah. yeah. Corn, believe it or not, is one of the most fungal foods on the planet. So I'm feeding them. Yeah, big time. Yeah. And you notice some of these cells, they have these white spots in the middle. So the white spots are literally yeast um, as the blood cells fermenting. The word diabetes means mm -hmm. to ferment. Um, yep. And you have new cells. Absolutely. And, and based on what I've been doing in those six months, they can be a, I can be a whole other person. Yep. Literally in Absolutely. six months. Wow. Yep. Now it takes literally seven years to turn over every body cell, but uh -huh. every blood cell will be turned over much quicker. Okay. Yeah. Like for someone that smokes, if they quit smoking and eat a nice pristine diet, in seven years they can have a brand new perfect set of lungs. That's a pretty amazing thought, right? <laughs> what? Somebody with uh, you know, skin problems can have brand new skin. Like I was talking about my wife where she had problems with uh, acne. Or my friend uh, Mike that introduced me to alkalizing, he used to have really bad acne and um, rosacea where his skin was very red, pigmented, mm -hmm. and very inflamed. And uh, he had Crohn's disease. So he got rid of his Crohn's disease. He's been symptom-free of Crohn's for about six or seven years now, which, according to the medical world, is impossible. Uh, acne and uh, rosacea is completely cleared up. Um, so the medication that the traditional uh, doctors give you, they do nothing really to change the pictures that I'm seeing now. They actually make it worse in some cases. Right. There's never been, and I would venture to say never will be, mm -hmm. a uh, pharmaceutical that is alkaline. And since all of our health problems are the result of acidity, mm -hmm. it's never going to resolve the root problem. It's only going to treat the symptoms, which is basically like cutting the check engine light in your car, slapping a band-aid on a cut. Is it really fixing things? No. Um, 
here again we're seeing another one of those acanthus sites. Um, here just below it, we've got some yeast. Let me fix the focus here. Mm. Right there, this yeah, yeast. Yeah, that little white spot. So all this is yeast. Yep, we've got some other ones there too. I have a biscuit so bread. So what do bacteria like to eat? Bacteria and yeast and fungus like to eat uh, sugar more than anything. And believe it or not, that's actually why we have those sugar cravings, is our body's not craving sugar, it's the yeast in our body that are craving sugar. And here's what we call a city of garbage, or a uh, canthocyte. I'm sorry, this table's got to a little bit, so it's a little chunky. Right. Very big mass in the middle, yeah. That's uh, something that actually takes a little bit of time to build up as well, like acid crystals. It doesn't just happen overnight, but that's actually an accumulation of like bacteria, yeast, fungus, even mold could be in there, fibrin, um, and uh, the acidic waste of those microorganisms, like the bacteria and yeast, where they've basically created their own little city. It's kind of like New York City back when they had the garbage strike and the trash piled up in the streets for a few weeks. That's literally happening in most people's blood nowadays, believe it or not. This is actually quite small compared to most of them that I see. They're usually